Well, back in Rome again. Carmen always loved the city. I'm not surprised that her trail has led us here. Really? Did she have some hideout here or something? No. It's more that she just loves history and culture. And Rome is loaded with both. Hey guys, it's Waddles, and welcome back to another episode of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Treasures of Knowledge, where today in this episode, it has been a while. Like, I'm not joking. It took me forever to get another episode out, and I am super hyped. Um, also, I've got the audio hopefully fixed up a bit. There's going to be a bit of a rasp, but that's okay. that something. Initiate search procedure. Quiet. So, <laughs> that obviously hasn't changed. But anyway, uh, I think I got the audio fixed a little bit better, so it won't be so quiet. However, I haven't figured out how to fix the raspiness on OBS. So if you guys know how to do that, let me know. Because if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that the sound is a lot more crisp. So, let's get started. What you missed out on is there was like a little bit of something. They said there was like Chapter an agent. Chapter 1. Shush! Man, you talk a lot. I mean, yeah, I talk a lot, but that's besides the point. Anyway, there's apparently an agent here uh, that we're going to meet or something like that. Either way, welcome to Rome. So let's see what we can do here. Can we click on this person? Ciao. Ciao. All right, in Rome, you know how, the, you know how that saying is. And in Rome, do as the Romans. This painter here, watch this. Watch him. Look at that. He's not painting. He's just... Oh, okay. That was weird. He was just having a m moment there. All right. Italy has produced many famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Nice. All right. What about this guy up here? You can't click on him. Uh, what about this car? Sweet. Same. Uh, but that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for more of... Uh, okay, this person. Ooh. All right. Wonder if this is the agent. Hey, Agent Jules Argent. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, say that a little Not louder. Not since Carmen Diego flew the coop. Yeah, well, I needed some time to think, Salerno. But anyway, Carmen's at it again, and I'm personally going to make sure to get her this time. Have you seen any signs of her lately? Maybe. A woman just bought all of the sheet music to be Zay's hmm. opera Carmen. She said it was a present for a friend. Could have been a vile agent. Oh, and the chief said that you may need this. A flashlight? A flashlight? Don't tell me you don't have one. Or is it not high-tech enough for you? Actually, I prefer to call it a TXQ Delta V12 Electron Illuminator. And no, I didn't pack everything. Salerno, is there anything else about that lady you said bought the sheet music? It's important. Well, she also bought the last of my pan pipes. Well, I don't see what that's got to do with anything. Who knows? Carmen loves music. She posed as a musician once on the Starlight case we worked on. She really got into the part. What do you think, Chief? I suggest you look up pan pipes in the database. It could be a clue as to where Carmen San Diego's headed. Oh, and be sure to check out the Coliseum if you haven't yet, because we've detected vile activity there. No kidding. Chief out. Good idea, Chief. I'll make a note about the panpipes in my journal. All right, finally. Whew, um, panpipes. So we've never used the database before. I think that's this thing. Okay, so pan pipes. Peru. Panpipes. Did I spell it right? I think I did. So, Panpipes at Peru. So, we might be going over there later on. Not sure. Let's get out of here. Something about this. I mean, that's not suspicious one bit. Look at that statue. When you're in Rome, you're surrounded by over 2,000 years of art and architecture. Nice. Catch me if you can. Oh, are you Acme kidding me? Agents. There she is! Get her! Come on! You want her to get away? Come Give on. it up. A little faster. Unless you can fly. Are you are you kidding? Uh, I almost had her this time. No, you didn't. Couldn't you have run any faster? Listen, Hawkins. There's more to catching Carmen than just running faster. It takes brains, too. Wow, thank you for pointing that out. Okay. 
<laughs> it also takes not being like having so much tech on you that you can't run like are you kidding me take the vest off man okay what do we got here the Grand Taj Mahal Hotel interesting and what about that writing hmm. you know Carmen and I worked with an expert in ancient alphabets way back when he's retired now but he was very helpful maybe he can help us again so where does he hang out let's just say that it was the birthplace of democracy Check your database, Socrates. I'll do that, but at least let's give him a call. His phone might be bugged. Long story. Chief, we need you to fax this note to that professor of ancient languages Carmen and I worked with. You know the one I mean? Yes, Jules. I'll see he gets it. You may be right about his phone being bugged. You should go see him in person. Get over there pronto. And be careful. Chief signing off. All right. So, what did he say? Birthplace of democracy. So we got a couple different places. We can either go... I just went to the wrong one. Uh, we could either head over to Peru, or we could head over to the other place. Let's see. Birthplace of democracy. I don't think I spelled that right. No luck. Maybe Not. we should check the spelling. Yeah, Didn't I see that no word kidding. written down somewhere? No luck. Uh, Maybe we should check the spelling. Didn't I see I that word did? written down somewhere? What if I just did, uh... Did like, no luck. No, no. Maybe we should check the spelling. Didn't I... S no luck. Hmm. Maybe we should check the spelling. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I don't think that there was ever any spelling. And no, I didn't see that word written down anywhere. Uh, let's see... <sighs> that moment when you need to know. I feel like I spelled most of it right. It's democracy. I, I don't think I've ever written that word before. But, uh, anyway, so we do know one thing. We do know one thing. Um, right, we're heading over to Global Tra Peru. Uh, we do know about that. Wow, this is a far cry from Lima, the capital. All this clean, high mountain air is really refreshing. <sighs> Makes me want to catch a master criminal. Well, don't let me hold you back. Okay, so we are now in Peru, and the first thing I notice is that door. Like, what? I don't know. That's just weird. Um, all right. Ooh, what's this? It's the design again. Almost looks like a lock. Wonder how we can open it. Interesting. I'm not really seeing anything here for us. Oh, okay. It's a door. We'll need something to play the tune on, what? the tune to play, and a hint as to how to play the tune. What? We need to keep looking around. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I think it has some. I think we're ahead of ourselves. Uh, once again, with the Peruvians use llamas for carrying goods. That sounds pretty awesome to me. Okay, I forgot about a clue. This was the Taj Mahal Hotel, so let's head over to India. You know, I've always wanted to see India. India! You know, I thought you'd be a little more excited. What's up? Just thinking. I've been looking through my sketches of those two items that we recovered. A gem may have been missing from the Koruru carving as well. You know, from the center of that wheel design on the forehead. There was some kind of hollow area there. And on the Marco Polo book, too. Well, that goes along with my theory that Carmen Sandiego's just like any other thief. She can't resist anything that sparkles. Carmen's not that easy to figure out. She's too smart to waste her time on petty thievery. Whatever she's up to, it's going to be bigger. Way bigger. All right. Again with the way bigger thing. Okay, Taj Mahal. What is going on here? Ooh. Whoa, it's the wheel design again. Someone liked my medallion so much, they gave me this photograph. What? <laughs> Very strange. Yeah, man. Someone tall and dressed in red, maybe? Mind if I look at this with our clue analyzer? It can figure out who and where this came from. I have a hunch it might be a key to finding those kipus. Kipus? I still don't know where they got the whole kipu thing from. All right. Just what I thought. Carmen San Diego's fingerprints are all over it. 
The windmill is located near the Netherlands capital, Amsterdam. Hey, Chief, we found something, but it's not the quipus, unfortunately. Get it? Not the quipus? Quipus are strings with knots? I you're not laughing. <clears throat> anyway, Jules, I suggest you make a note of all this in your journal. I'll book your flights. We must stop Carmen San Diego. Chief out. Time to get out the old, what you call it? Global Transportation Scanner Database thingy majiggy. We've got a plane to catch. Okay, so I just realized you guys are probably so confused right now. Um, so at the start, you know, I said that we missed some stuff because of when I started it. Yeah, one of the things we missed was uh, what we were getting. So basically, there's this kipu thing. Which is like a, it's like a calendar thing, but with knots, and they'd use knots as calendars, or as the count, or whatever. Anyway, basically that's what's missing, and that's what we're looking for. So that's why they keep saying kipus. Um, what's this? Hey, this design looks familiar. This medallion is very popular. Just a few hours ago, a lady bought one. Insisted she needed one. Paid with guilders, too. Really? I wonder... I think we'd like one too, please. Gilders, huh? You might want to look that one up in your database, Hawkins. Legend has it that this wheel design guided an explorer to a lost city. I know, you're thinking this design might have some connection to Carmen San Diego. But what is the connection? Maybe you ought to scribble that legend down in your journal. And something about those Gilders, too. I like your style, rookie. You're catching on. Okay, so again with the lost treasure thing, nice. Uh, key, oh, is it Gilder? I don't, I forgot what he said. Would it be like that or that? Gilder Netherlands G U I L D R Netherlands, which is funny because that picture, that picture I believe is from the Netherlands as well. So let's head over to the Netherlands. Netherlands. We're flying into the capital city of Amsterdam, right? Shush. The Netherlands. Land of tulips and windmills, huh? Well, supposedly, Dutch tulip growers produce over 2,000 varieties. But why would anyone want so many tulips? Well, I have a question for you. What does Carmen want with some ink and knotted strings? Could it be a clue as to what she's up to? I don't know, man. Don't know. All right, so... Let's step inside here. This is the same thing that was on the photograph, if I remember correctly. Now to scan the interior with my electron illuminator. Mm -hmm. Please, just call it a flashlight. I'm pretty sure this is it. Acme agents are fair game for Carmen? Ah, the first letters of each word are colored. This has got to be a note from Carmen San Diego to one of her vile cronies. But I'll bet there's more to this message than meets the eye. Maybe the database can help with some of the clues. Hawkins, I think you're starting to understand Carmen's style. Okay. So, things are starting to make some sense. So let's head back over to Peru again. This is a... Well, we're back. I miss this place. Me too. I'm always inspired by both the people and the scenery. Well, since the quipus are the way the ancient Incas kept records, and Machu Picchu over there is an old Incan city, it seems like we better scour this village for clues. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I think this it's is the, the design again. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And that slot's the same size as the medallion. I wonder. Yeah. You were right. This box is a vile M4C security exchange system. Kind of outdated, but does the job. These panpipes must have been left by Carmen San Diego. I think you're right. I seem to remember something about panpipes at that music store in Rome. Could these be a clue as to how to find the stolen quipus? We'll put them in our digital clue storage device before one of our accomplices gets here. <laughs> Since when do you have panpipes that have reset? Okay. Um, I think the only thing that we don't have so far is we haven't searched, uh, is it Greece? Greece. Or... 
Italy. We gotta find wherever that person is. Let's try Greece. My high school sponsored a trip through the. My old friend uh... Professor Lonsdale moved here from Athens, the Greek capital. He's retired now, but he keeps busy researching ancient alphabets. Looks like he's not home. All right. Being watched. Hmm. This island's probably crawling with vile agents. By the way, what's a hoplite? I'm not sure. Maybe we should look it up in your database. But hurry, Hawkins. Carmen may be just a step ahead of us. The chief faxed your note. I had to leave on business, but I had to left the translated note in a vase with a hoplite on it. I have also left an old mem... 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 Memento. Brilliant. On the vase with the temple. Please take it. It may not be safe with me anymore. If we get really stuck... I'm not stuck. I have the feeling I'm being watched. No way. Okay. So, uh... There's only, like, a few pots here, um, so I'm just going to click on one. No this way. This was taken quite a few years ago, when Carmen and I were partners. All right, awesome. Um, so, okay, obviously it is a note. You can read it if you want, but basically it's saying that uh, thanks for helping out. Awesome. So let's keep looking around. Let's try this one. That pot with the runners probably has something to... Ah, here it is. Play the sentence backwards. Weird. But if it's from Carmen, we'd better hang on to it. We're not getting anywhere. We would have had more luck staying back there in Rome. Have patience, Hawkins. It'll all fit together somehow. Let's check the clues we found so far so we can figure out where to look next. Alright, so this was kind of an odd episode. Worldwide have... data resource. Yeah. And a... So you guys might be thrown off a bit how... Ever. Let me explain what is going on. From what I've pieced together so far, remember how we ran into that door earlier and it was all like, Ew, you need the stuff to do the stuff or something like that. Um, anyway, I think we have the stuff now. And so we're going to go play a song and according to this note, backwards. And I think that's going to get us in. So let's head there. What I wouldn't give for a hamburger right now. Okay, there have to be some clues somewhere. Let's find them. Those were my thoughts exactly, man. Alright, so... Uh, there was something about... A door... Okay, wasn't it this door we clicked on before? Okay, the lock is sound activated, uh, so we need to use the clues to figure out what tune to play. We can always reset if we make a mistake. Alright, I think this is a pretty simple system going here. Play the sentence backwards, and then we've got that note right there. We're gonna play that note backwards. Let's do this. It's a CFG, uh huh uh, F -A -A -A. The Kipus! We did it again! Excellent. The ancient Incan system for keeping records. Each knot or color had a significance, representing a number or object. The museum will be glad to have them back. But do you see what I see? I see that Carmen San Diego's stealing all this stuff, and we keep finding it. Yes. But look at the metal device that all the kipus are attached to. Wait, let me guess. There's a gem missing from the center. Carmen San Diego's not really after the items. She's a jewel thief. I can't wait to tell the chief what I've discovered. Congratulations, agents. You found the kipus. Any luck in tracking down the missing gem? Not yet. But I have figured out that the book, the carving, and the kipu holder may all be missing a jewel. Not to mention the fact that the same symbol has appeared on each one. You think this has got something to do with Carmen San Diego's reason for stealing these things? Interesting, Jules, but you don't have enough evidence yet. No, but my intuition tells me we may soon. That symbol seems linked to the legend of an explorer, a great treasure and a lost city. Sounds like just the kind of thing Carmen can't resist. Well, this may be something else she can't resist. I'm just getting word from Tokyo of the theft of a rare musical instrument, a moko. It's a gong, shaped like a fish, with the head of a dragon. She may... Are you kidding me? She may be watching your every move. Surprise, Chief? It's just too easy to intercept Acme transmissions. 
Well, Jules, you and Gadget Man have done pretty well, considering. I'll have you going in circles this time. I can't wait. See you soon. Ugh! I hate it when she does that. We have got to upgrade our software. Going in circles, huh? I'll show her. Calm down, Hawkins. You'll overheat your transistors. Chief, can you track that transmission? I'm already on it. She called from a plaza near the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec. Get your tickets and get going. We must stop Carmen San Diego. Well then, that is going to be episode three. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was a little bit confusing uh, for a bit there because we missed the start. But next time we won't be missing the start of the episode, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, it's the problem is when I shut down the game, it like doesn't want to save that for some reason. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my other content. And I have another channel at the moment. That's where I'm drawing all my attention to at the moment. It's my vlogging channel. I'm getting new new camera, new uh, equipment and stuff. And I'm going to be doing some pretty awesome stuff over there. So go ahead, drop a like on this channel. Drop a like on my vlogging channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.